It's a day for celebration. So Rare Data is free for everyone for one week until the 7th of February at 11pm GMT. It's all here, unlimited access to all features for one week. So if you're already on the site, on a rookie plan, pro, whatever, you have access to all the features. Now, if you haven't signed up yet, use the link below in the description or use code John Nellis when you sign up. And not only will you get the free week until the 7th of February, you'll actually get a following two weeks free because that's the original sign up offer. So if you haven't signed up, there's three weeks free of so rare data using the link below or code John Nellis. Let me show you my favorite features on the site. I'll try not to dwell, but there are quite a few of them that I use all the time. Okay, first off, what we'll do is we'll look at my SoRare results. I love this. So if we go back to last week, and we can sort these by whatever we want, we'll sort by current score. If we go down, for example, to this under 23 limited lineup. Now, what I can see in the top right here is the current reward I'm on for, and how many points I'm off another reward. So let's pretend, I'll actually give you an example from this week, but let's pretend I had one more player to play here. I'd be going, okay, 20 points away from a tier 1 limited, and 98 points off first place. I need my player to get 98 points to win the division. It also breaks down all the player scores, and you can click in very easily, and have a look at exactly how they got there. So I absolutely love this. I use this every day that there's games on. If there's no games on a Monday, I mightn't use it. But you know what I mean? I use it every single day. On the top right, you can also see your players and how they're doing. This works across baseball and basketball as well. And the football, if we look at this week, I'll show you another feature about this that I love. Um, if we go down to All-Star Limited, you can see here that Otamendi last night got an 83-pointer for me. So we're off to a flyer with some big, big players here. Let's hope there's no benchings or anything. But I can see in the top right, I don't have a reward at the minute, but I'm 28 points off a of Tier 3 limit. Limited. The rankings are 49% complete. We can see that when we click in. So we know how many cards have been ran, how many are to run. And then when we look, we can see, okay, I'm 328 points off top spot. I'm 28 points off the tier 3. I'm 85 points off a of tier 2. So you know what to cheer for. You know what your players need. And the added level of like beauty to this is, and this is all really intuitive on the app, um, but on desktop here, if we go into SO5 Game Week Center, and we go to Rankings, now we can pick the division we want to look at. So this is All-Star Limited again. This is the division we just looked at. You can toggle to see the lineup details or not. I like to see them, and you can toggle it by unfinished lineups only. Now, while at the minute, when they're 49% complete and there's like 35,000 cards left to play, this is a little bit of a slog because there's lots of cards left to play. If there was like... Eight people left in the division with cards to play on a random Monday night or in a midweek game, and you're competing up at the top, or in the higher divisions, maybe where there's less lineups and the super rares are rares, you can very quickly here just go and see, right, who am I against? Let me see their lineup, let me see who they have to play, and let me see their current point total. How am I doing? So it's it's incredible. This game week center is just I use it every single day. Day. On top of that, something I love is if you go into my gallery, there's the manager stats. Now, I think the key stats part of this is for everyone, but if you have the pro or star, or if you've just signed up because you'll get it free for a week, everyone will get it free for a few weeks, actually, if you've just signed up. Everyone on the site gets it for a week. hope that makes sense. Advanced stats and then these charts are for the, the more premium features. And these dive into much more. Your total rewards, e-thresholds, rewards per tier, realized card profit and losses, total card profit and losses, gallery valuations per scarcity. Lots of in-depth um, stuff. We can also see up here your best SO5 card. We can see this Mbappe, which kind of moves around lovely. Um, it shows me, I can look at all the rewards I've ever won and yielded with them. So there's quite a few there. All those have been given away on the channel. Uh, check the pinned video if you want to know about that. But yeah, you can see what you've total, what I've yielded in total with this Mbappe. And this is another feature which kind of gets into the... I think it's in Pro or Advanced. I'm not 100% sure. But just this whole interface. Like being able to see the percentage played. So I know Mbappe, just at a quick glance at this page alone, once you train the eye and once you're on the site, I know right off the bat, he's played 84 of the last 5 games. He's played 93% of the last 15 and 93% of the last 40. He's nailed. And this is... Mbappe, we all know the crack. But if you're looking at a more niche player, this might say like 23% over the last 15. You kind of go, oh, okay, so he's not nailed. So that wee percentage, I think, is a more premium feature. Another thing I love on my gallery is if I go over to injuries and news. Down here, very quickly, each game week, what I try and do, I'll filter by the upcoming game week. And I'll just scroll down. And I'll see if there's anyone I didn't know about who jumped out. Like there's Gonzalo Ramos with, with muscular problems. I was legitimately going to line him up. Um, and all these are pulled from the likes of Transfer Marked and Sports Gambler, updated regularly enough. 
Um, so absolutely 100% worth giving that a scan every single week. That might even be free. Um, you need to go and check. The pricing structure is on the site. It's all here. Um, if you actually did end up signing up, and if you go down here, you can see which sort of features are included in which um, tier. But I've much more exciting things there. We're going to look at something soon, and I've actually got rewards to open on so rare. I'm going to explain why they're, we're opening them on this video. Um, another feature I love is the concept. So this is free for everyone. If we go over to Concepts Beta, this is just really good for scouting and playing the game and farting about. Um, if you're looking to build a lineup in the cap division for 240 for a week and you want to just sink money in for the week to try and hit the threshold, you can just use that division and go click around and your remaining points will display as you can see on the right hand side. But equally, if you're thinking of picking up a team for, let's say you want to go under 23 limited, you can go in here and you can actually go like, okay, let me see, what's Donnarumma? Let's plug him in. I'm going to buy a Donnarumma. And if I was to stack Donnarumma with Hakimi, right, let's say we do that. This is this is just a, a hypothetical thought process. In midfield, I want a ball out, actually. I want Orkin Koku, right? Uh, can I find him? Oh, finding his name is always so hard. I could go in and if I can't find him, what I could do is I could go in and search him by... Maybe I only had... Yeah, there we go. I only had defender selected. Orkin Koku in the forward spot. We want to grab a Haaland because we're ballers. We chuck in Haaland. And then for our extra, we want to bring in, like, Trent, right? We're going for a bitching lineup. We love it, right? I can plug plug this in. You can select your captain. You can say, hypothetically, what the percentage bonuses would be. You can apply the power, power depending on how you pronounce it. And then you can look back at all time and say, right, how would this team have done forever, Right? How many rewards would this team actually have yielded me? And you can run through every game week where these five teams have all these five guys have all played, and you can see the scores they got, and you can see the rewards you would win. So you can kind of look ahead and be like, okay, well, this is what they have historically won. What will they win me going ahead? If I wanted to build a PSG stack, a Real Madrid stack, you can check how they would do in Champion Europe, for example. If I'm like, oh, maybe like a maybe a Frankfurt stack would be interesting. Let's go and look up Frankfurt, right? They're in a bit of form at the minute, aren't they? If I've just picked them out of my arse. If I went Eintracht, Eintracht Frankfurt, um, why can't I find some? Oh, because I've got Trent in the name. If we go here and chuck in Ramage, right? I don't even know. He's it looks like he's not their nailed goalkeeper. They've probably got someone else. I feel like I'm wasting lots of time trying to show you a feature, which is pretty intuitive. You could go in here and plug in any other lineups you want and basically see what they would have won historically. What the floor price is, what the recent price average is, the reward percentage when all players play, game weeks where they've all played. You can look at all the actual game weeks they've won. So I absolutely love concepts. Right, we've had a look at the results. We've had a look at that. Something that I wanted to show you very quickly um, was the lineup builder. And that is probably my favorite feature that I use more most regularly. And the reason is this. It gives me so much information that it's incredible. I've already built a load of my lineups for the next game week, right? Let's go and pretend we're about to build an all-star rare team. I'm going to put in the preferences, uh, or in the filter, sorry, that um, I wanted to show selected players. There has to be a way to do that. Current team only, da 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 show picked players, right? Because I've already picked a load. But what this will do, right, let's say I want to pick an all-star rare team. I can go in here and I can go, okay, let me see which goalkeeper has the highest chances of a clean sheet. All black is 63% to keep a clean sheet. There's also uh, lots of information here in the classic. If you go into advanced, we've got pick percentages, division pick percentages, like how many pick all black and all star rare, matchup indicators, all this sort of stuff. And I love this pick score because it very quickly throws the best picks to the top. So all black's up there. If we were to go into the next one, we can look at, okay, what is he predicted to score against this opposition? That's just out of shot now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just readjust this very quickly. On the right-hand side, now you can see opposition score. That is basically what players from this position typically score against the opposition. So defenders typically score 60 points against Spezia. Uh, they also score 59 against Wolves, blah, 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 blah. And then maybe we look at the clean sheet percentage. Okay, Di Lorenzo is expect 49% likely to get a clean sheet. Hakimi's at 50. But I like Di Lorenzo. He's higher upside, but he is away from home. But he's a triple-A pick. Ooh, we can look at his form. We can go and delve in. We've also got here the percentage 
of games started, benched, um, not played, whatever. And another thing we have in here, I'm really throwing you through it. Right beside their name here, we have the community projections. So every week, loads of people from the community will go in and predict the lineups. Um, so 100% of people think Di Lorenzo is going to start. Only 50% of people think Nuno Mendes will start. So if you're unsure, or if you see, like, a big one for me is like, okay, maybe you assume Kaladu Koulibaly is nailed for Chelsea. Well, all of a sudden, it's saying 100% of people think he's going to get benched here. So you go, hmm. Why have I not seen that? Or maybe there's a player who's out, like Facundo Mura here. 100% of people reckon he isn't even going to play. And I might have thought he was going to. And I'm like, mm, okay, why? Maybe he's injured. Maybe I missed it. So it's really good. And then the community get rewarded for putting in accurate um, predictions. So you can always trust them to an extent. Um, Odegaard, let's say we throw in here. I like him. You know, his L5 is looking good. But he is away from home. Let's sort by pick score. Uh, okay, Gedson Fernandez is right up there against 13th in the league, but Danny Perret, who was against the bottom of the league, predicted to do well, away from home, whatever, we'll chuck him in. Um, up at the top here, you can look at the odds of the team scoring three goals or more. Now, as you can see here, there's a little flag. We know Gonzalo Ramos is likely injured, so maybe I'd go to the next guy, Leroy Sané. Bayern predicted 41% chance they score three goals or more. Let's chuck Sané in for the laugh, and then we could go on down and throw in whoever. Let's Let's say we go for... Let's sort by pick score. We'll go for the top, get some Fernandez. And all of a sudden, we've got a lineup. And then right below it, my head's probably over it. Just above my head. You can see right where we have, like, basically what we've seen on the concept. So we can look at how all these players have played when they play together, what they would have won. So a few weeks ago, we would have got a tier two, uh, tier three last week. You can see there. And then that's not even including the captain from Danny Parejo. Um, but yeah, so I really, really love the lineup builder. Now, here's the fun part, right? And there's a couple of rewards we're going to open to end the end the video. Basically, what I've done here is you can toggle the basketball. Now, not all of us will have basketball players. I appreciate that. But what I did, right, and let me just show you this quickly. What I did for the last two weeks, and I swear to God, hand on heart, this wasn't planned. But I don't know basketball. But when the cards came out, I was all excited and bought a bunch of LeBron Jameses and Giannis's and Jamarants and whatever else's. And I've picked up a few others over time. But I never really know how to put them together. And you can go in here and use all this incredible information around like ratios and what they're projected to score. Game projections are huge in basketball. But there's this suggest a lineup feature. So what I've done for the last couple of weeks, if I can go back and probably show you Game Week 29, for example, and go into saved lineups. I went in and I literally just said suggest a lineup and i put them in so if we go to this current game week upcoming um the third to the fifth if we go in here let's say scrap the limited contender or limited champion right scrap that bin that over the limited champion suggest a lineup it's just suggested five guys save the lineup contender suggest a lineup save the lineup I've done just got two lineups saved, right? And I also did it before with my common um, champion and contender. I'm going to go and plug these into so rare because the last two times I've done it, I've won rewards. In game week 28, I won a tier 3 rare. I came 68th in limited champion. In game week 29, I came 198th in limited champion and got a tier 2 limited. So, and I also won a common contender, another common, a tier 1 common. So let's open these rewards. These are all literally 100% down to this lineup builder. I do not know basketball. I don't even know who Donovan Mitchell is. He plays for the Cavs, right? Let's go and see what limited card we got. Tier 2, which is almost like the equivalent of a tier 1. Be someone I recognize. Clippers? Is that Clippers? Avika Zubak. And again, back over to SoRare Data. Zubak, Avika Zubak, 20 quid card, courtesy of so rare data, but not a one at otherwise. The last sale within the last week was for 22 euros. 22 euros straight in my basket that I would not have had. Over to the rare in limited champion, 280 points. What are we going to get? I don't even know who OKC is. Jalen Williams, that's a rookie card, and I actually have his limited, and I get a bit of use out of that. Jalen Williams, so I'm hoping maybe like this, I don't know if kickoff will become a thing in, or tip off, whatever they'll call it, will become a thing in basketball. But I've picked up my first rare card now, courtesy of this lineup builder. Last sale on that, 85 quid. So, essentially, over two weeks, this lineup builder has yielded me, if I was to sell these cards, 100 euros that I would not have had otherwise. And that that's just fact. 
I was blown away by it, and I, I actually was like, I, I can't wait to tell people this. It's obscene. It's absolutely obscene. So those are my favourite so rare data features. Sign up using the link below to get that free week, and you'll also get two other free weeks if you haven't signed up yet. So that's three weeks free, minus a day, because this video is out the day after. And if you're already on so rare data, and you decide to upgrade your subscription because of anything you've seen today, please use the code John Nellis. You can up whenever you're, if you're already a rookie or a pro, if you decide to upgrade and use the code John Nellis, I'll get paid. Really, really helps me making content. Thanks for being here. Like the video on the way out. See you later.